Hello, my name is Sterling Khan, and I'm going to call BS on something. Uh, some of you, you've already figured this out, that um, our government must be running Al-Qaeda. Otherwise, why would they trick our military into bombing for them over Libya? And now Libya has been handed over to Al-Qaeda. And um, here our government, not us, but our government is handing Syria over to Al-Qaeda. And that's because, you know, Syria, he, Assad, he's not a nice guy. He's a stinking dictator, but he's a secular dictator. Uh, he's, you know, allowing uh, people to be Christian, Jew, Islam, uh, Muslims, etc., you know. Um, <clears throat> well, and we're going to have... Um, hands down our pants uh, at the airport oh and down the hands uh, down the pants of uh, little children yeah TSA agents grabbing your children's genitals and your wife's genitals and breasts uh, to protect us from Al Qaeda but our border is wide open that's a load of crap you know and supposedly now they're they're doing um, street side checkpoints. I haven't seen it in Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, by God, you know, you Birmingham police, you know, block these scum from doing that here. Uh, because, you, you know, you, this is the, basically was ground zero for the civil rights movements, uh, movement in the 60s. Um, but anyway, yeah, if our government was uh, serious about uh, stopping things like Sharia law, you know, other than Sharia finance, but I mean, Sharia law, like, oh, having women's genitals cut on, you know, if they were serious about having that stopped, and, <clears throat> you know, serious about stopping honor killings of, of women, you know, which and stopping this business of forcing women to wear burqas. Well, our government wouldn't be back in Al-Qaeda. Oh, let's see here. What might we do to stop Al-Qaeda? <clears throat> I've got an idea, but it'll never be implemented because, of course, it would work. And, of course, you know, some people say, hey, it's, it's uh, unconstitutional. And it's illegal because it's on foreign soil, but um, it'll never be done because it might have to be done to our leaders if it was actually done. Now, some of our leaders are like Dick Cheney. Well, let's see here. To high value targets, you know, the ones that say to do these awful things to women, you know, uh, high ranking mullahs, high ranking leaders. Well, send in a capture team. Take this high-ranking target to a heavily secured medical facility and surgically remove his arms, his legs, his eyes, his tongue, and his genitals and keep a constant video feed, internet video feed on him for the rest of his life uh, with, um, you know, scrolling messages in English and hmm, both dialects of Farsi and Pashtun and, and what Urdu and I think there's a third language over there in Pakistan Afghanistan region can't remember what it is oh and of course uh, both of the major dialects of, of, of Arabic oh and Kurd or I think Kurdish <laughs> uh, you know a little message to say hey this is what happens to you if you tell poor people to go blow themselves up or this is what happens to you if you um, Tell followers, hey, cut, uh, cut off women's clitorises and, and worse, you, you know, to little girls, etc. And, and oh, uh, ooh, it's okay to marry little six and nine year old girls, you old man. No. Um, and ooh, it's okay to force women to be in burkas and uh, force them not to work, etc. Just ridiculous, right? <clears throat> 
Oh, yeah, that'd stop the terrorists, but then, gee, we might end up having to do that, say, to Dick Cheney and to everybody else who, you know, as far as I'm concerned, staged uh, September 11th. You know, how the hell did NORAD stand down? All of NORAD stand down, and supposedly uh, they were able to remotely shut off these planes if they wanted to. I don't know if it's true or not, but yeah. And this business now that if we attack Iran, that, that helps entrench the mullahs. And yeah. And uh, here Russia and China are saying they're going to attack if we go after Pakistan or Iran, so. <clears throat> Uh, these leaders that want to drag us and drag Israel into a war here. Uh, another war that's uh, against an enemy that is better equipped and better trained than Iraq and Afghanistan. Eh, BS, you know. In Afghanistan, oh, our troops are being forced to grow the opium. You, you can find that by just on YouTube. You go and type in um, Fox News troops forced to grow opium US troops you know into YouTube and then uh, this lawyer Kurt Haskell and his wife you know they witnessed uh, the underwear bomber you know drugged you know being led on onto the plane and the Christmas of 09 by a sharp dressed guy. So, and that to sell us the body scanners and uh, getting us irradiated and then having you and your uh, wife and your children's genitals grow. Yeah. BS. And this is why I'm voting for Ron Paul and. Not these uh, scumbags like Santorum, excuse me, Santorum or Gingrich or Romney.